A couple seasons ago, we did a feature on Silencer Central that focused pretty much on how they were completely revolutionizing the suppressor buying process. But the company's been really busy since then. Not only have they added two new suppressors to their line, they've started submitting orders using ATF's new electronic Form 4s, which is already greatly expediting the process, and they just moved into a brand new headquarters. We're here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota to catch up with Silencer Central. Let's go take a look. A lot of times people say, what's the benefit of using Silencer Central? You know, you might be based different than where I'm located. Well, why should I take this risk of, you know, working with someone out of state, out of, you know, out of my geography? Think of a business that started in 2005, that's all we've done. So think of 17 years of fine tuning a process so that it's easier. And one of the things we've been really effective at is working with the ATF to create variances where we can make our process all digital. Typically a customer will look on our website and they'll say, hey, wow, these folks are legit. They've been in business since 2005. They're the largest you know, silencer deal in America. I think I'm gonna give them a call. And they'll talk to one of our sales reps. We have an entire call center here and that's all they do all day long is suppressor sales. So then the customer will say, hey, I've got you know, these 10 rifles or pistols or handguns that I want to you know, sort of deck out with suppressors or suppressor, what should I do? And then it's a conversation. Well, here's a good option. Here's a good option. This might work best. And then once they sort of fine tune what they want, then we say, hey, you know, you can pay for it while you wait. We don't need all the money now. We don't charge interest. If you want to just put a little bit down, that's fine. And then we capture the information we need from them. We generate the paperwork for them and we send that paperwork digitally to the customer. The customer is going to sign that digitally as well. And then that digital form is going to come back to us. Silencer Central is gonna also send you the fingerprint cards. So essentially we'll mail you the fingerprint cards, we'll mail you the ink, you'll do it yourself at home, you'll send it to us. We scan it in, then we have it digitally. If we're gonna upload the free gun trust we create for you to ATF. We're gonna upload the Form 4 paperwork, responsible party paperwork the ATF needs. And then we're gonna pay your tax stamp for you. We're gonna hit submit digitally. And then when it comes back approved, both us and the customer are gonna get a digital email saying, hey, it's approved. I think several customers were hesitant to become a first-time owner because they were unsure of the process, they were unsure of their role, and they'd heard some stories about the lag time, uh, the significant time from purchase to obtaining their product, and that either made people hesitant or scared them off completely. And I think with our operations and the efficiencies that we found, um, we're breaking down those barriers for our customers and really allowing them to have ease and comfort and speed in their purchase of their first silencer products. It's interesting, in our industry, you actually have to have the silencer on the shelf to make the sale to the person, even though uh, that they could potentially wait weeks or months to get approved. And so not only do we have the silencers that we anticipate to sell, we've got silencers that we've already sold. And so, you know, right behind us here in this room, there's 100,000 silencers sitting on the shelf. The biggest obstacle for customers over the years has been, gosh, why do I have to wait a year to get it? So to see a process now where you know I'm very I'm feeling very confident that a customer can get approved in a 45 to a 90 day window, um, it's golden, and I'll tell you why it's golden. So when we first launched in Minnesota, when suppressors first became legal in Minnesota, we were seeing 90 day turnarounds for suppressors in Minnesota. Most guys were so pleased with 90 days they bought another one instantly. Then a few years later, the silencers became approved at a state level in Iowa. We launched in Iowa. Obama changed some state laws. We had guys waiting 18 months. They were so sort of worn out by the process that at the 18 month mark, they were excited to have their suppressor, but they weren't interested in getting another one. So just that ability to get someone to get that more instant gratification of using it in their hunting and seeing their friends use it and seeing the benefits of you know recoil reduction, sound, um, you know, be able to socialize while you're hunting, just all the benefits the suppressor brings, yeah, it's definitely exciting. Thirty caliber is the golden standard. That's what everyone's looking for when they're they're gonna get their first foray into getting a silencer. Banish 30 Gold is gonna be one of the most versatile 30 cal suppressors out there. Uh, it's able to do your 300 Ultra Mag, 3378 Weatherby, 28 Nosler, but then also could do your 300 Wind Mag, 308, 6.5s, 22250 for all of your coyote guys out there, uh, as well as all the way down into the rimfire. With it being fully serviceable, you don't have to you know limit it to just your regular caliber rifles you're gonna get an entire kit so that way you have everything you need right away. 
you're gonna get two 100% titanium muzzle brakes, one for 5 8 by 24 which is gonna be the standard for your, your higher calibers, as well as you're gonna get one for the half by 28 so that's gonna be perfect for all your AR-15s, uh, rim fires, other rifles like that that are gonna have the thinner barrels. But don't feel like you're only stuck to having two adapters or two muzzle brakes. You can actually uh, purchase additional ones, so that way you can easily set them all onto your own guns. It is gonna also come with a shim kit and instructions, and we also have a nice video you can watch, so you don't have to take it all the way to your gunsmith in order to put everything together. Have a suppressor? Then you're gonna need a threaded barrel. But what if the gun you wanna use doesn't have a threaded barrel? Don't worry, Silencer Central has a service that will thread your rifle for you. Let's go take a look. It seems like we would work at shows and customer would come up and you could just tell them they're thinking whether they want to get a suppressor. They're like, how do I get this on my rifle? So that's when we said, does it make sense for us to bring uh, barrel threading in-house? You know, our goal always was to double down and get the most expensive, most accurate, most precise machinery so that we could thread it perfectly. The other insight is that our warranty claims, literally 99.99999% of all warranty claims were because the barrel was not threaded properly. We're very buttoned down because um, unfortunately I'm the guy writing the check for the barrels if something doesn't go right. So we're, we're into the communication of texting you say, hey, call us. We have a question we want to run by you and make sure we have the perfect threads for you based on what you're planning on using this for. Our customers are asking a lot of questions about our operational processes overall. So our customer service team, we've trained them and given them the tools to be able to answer those questions very accurately and effectively to our customers to ensure that they know exactly where their products are during the whole process. As I've mentioned before, we've got to have the silencer on the shelf to make the sale to begin with. So we're getting to a point now where doubling every year is a massive undertaking in and of itself. And part of that has been people, part of that's been process, part of that's been technology that we've got to scale up. But the big part of it is the, the physical infrastructure that we need here. Uh, we've gone from some office duplexes, you know, or, you know, in your neighborhood kind of on the corner to a really massive presence in terms of a corporate campus. My philosophy as a business owner is I'm 100% convinced that if a customer is happy with Silencer Central, they're going to refer us to a friend and they're going to buy another one. So to make that work, a lot of times you throw more employees at a problem to fix it, and it may not be cost effective at that time, but until you can fine tune a process and until you can get it down right, I mean, eForms has changed how we interact with the ATF. We've had to hire more people. A lot of our serializing of our paperwork is done manually now, uh, just because we wanna make sure that we're following ATF requirements, but we've found ways to automate that. So we'll continue to find ways to automate our processes. The goal will be that the customer customer has the best experience. Honestly, Silencer Central's entire business model has been created around making the process simple because I personally went through a process that was painful. And when I would work shows and events over the last 17 years, that's the biggest issue.